Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will learn how to make e-payments from your Bandhan Bank account to your beneficiaries through Tally Prime. To make e-payments from your Bandhan Bank, all you need to do is contact your Bandhan Bank relationship manager or visit your bank branch so that you can use Tally Prime for bulk payments. Thereafter, you just have to create a bank ledger in Tally Prime and ensure that you have entered the beneficiary's bank account details in your party ledger. You can then go on to record payment vouchers. Once you record the payment vouchers, you can export the payment instruction file from the e-payments report of Tally Prime and upload it on the bank portal. What's more, you can also download the intermediate file from the portal and reconcile your payment vouchers in Tally Prime. Let's first see how to create or alter a bank ledger and update it with your Bandhan Bank account details. Press Alt plus G. Create Master, Ledger and press Enter. Enter the name of the ledger. Create it under Bank Accounts. The company name gets displayed as the account holder's name. Change the account holder's name if needed. Enter the account number and IFS code. Enter SWIFT code if needed. Under Bank Name, select the bank from the list of banks. Enter the branch and then enter client code as applicable. Enable e-payments. Considering you have already contacted Bandhan Bank to enable bulk payments through Tally Prime, press N to close the message. Enable set slash alter e-payments configuration. In the e-payments configuration screen, you can set options to configure activities related to e-payments. If you choose to enable export slash upload payment instruction on voucher creation, then the payment instruction file will get created the moment you save a voucher. However, if you want to export payment instruction file for multiple vouchers at once, then let this option be set as no. The Allow Export of Transactions with Mismatch in Bank Details option enables you to export the bank details given if one or more bank details entered in a voucher do not match with that entered in the respective master. For now, let this option be set as No. Thereafter, you can specify the folder parts for payment instruction file. New Intermediate Files and they've already imported intermediate files. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configurations. You can enter other details as needed and press Ctrl plus A to save the bank ledger. Now, let's see how to create or alter the party ledger and update it with the bank account details. Press Alt plus G. Create Master, Ledger, and press Enter. Enter the party's name. Create it under Sundry Creditors. Enter all the necessary details. Set Provide Bank Details to Yes. Under Transaction Type, select eFund Transfer and press Enter. Enter the beneficiary's account number and IFS code. Enter the bank name. If there are more than one bank accounts of the beneficiary, then press F12 and enable allow multiple beneficiary details. Let's enter ref ID, say secondary. Enter the beneficiary's bank account details. The primary account number gets selected as the default account number whenever you record a payment voucher for the party. However, you can choose to set any other account details as default if needed. Press Ctrl plus A to save the account details. Then press Ctrl plus A to save the party ledger. Now, let's see how to record a payment voucher. Once you have the bank ledger and party ledger with relevant information, you can go on to record payment vouchers. Press Alt plus G. 
create voucher and press enter under account select the bandhan bank account and press enter under particulars select the ledger that you created for your party or beneficiary and press enter enter the amount and press enter in the bill wise details screen select the method of adjustment and provide other details as needed press enter on the total amount and the bank allocation screen appears you can see that the primary bank account is selected by default you can change if needed instrument date is the date on which the voucher is created if you want to change the bank details you can do so for instance you want to send it to a different bank account press f12 then enable show ref id to view the transfer mode set show transfer mode for e payments to yes press control plus a to save the configuration as you can see you can change the bank details by selecting the ref id the transfer mode is neft as the amount is less than 2 lakhs for amount greater than 2 lakhs the transfer mode will be rtgs enter narration if needed and press control plus a to save the voucher Now let's export the payment instruction file from the e-payments report. Press Alt plus G. Type or select e-payments and press enter. The report opens for the starting date of the financial year to the date of the most recent voucher date. Press F2 to change the period if needed. The e-payments report provides you with the information about the status of payment vouchers which helps you take the necessary action. For instance, if one or more vouchers are ready to be sent to bank, then you can just know about them and export their payment instruction file to upload on the bank portal. Now, let's drill down from the ready for sending to bank section under the Bandhan Bank column. If there are more than one vouchers, you can use spacebar to select specific vouchers for which you want to export the payment instruction file. Then press Alt plus E. Payment instructions and press enter. The payment instruction file will get exported to the set folder path. The file name is the last three digits of your Bandhan Bank account number followed by the timestamp based on the date and time at which you export the file. Press E to export. Consequently, the vouchers will move from the ready for sending to bank section to transactions sent to bank unreconciled section. Now that we have the payment instruction file, let's upload it on the bank portal and download the intermediate file. Open the Bandhan Bank portal on a browser. Enter the user ID and password and click login. Enter one time password. Now click file upload. Enter the company name. This is the registered name of your company for which you have created the bank account. Select the file format as delimited as the file exported from Tally Prime is in this format. Now select file and click upload. Approve the required transactions from the uploaded file. Once you approve, the bank makes payment to the beneficiary. You can check the status of the payment and reconcile the payments by downloading the intermediate file. To download the intermediate file, click reports and then report center. Identify the tally file, click select and then click generate. Now in the screen enter the email id provided to the bank during registration under output type select xls select company name if the file is generated for a period then you will need to select the appropriate option now enter the from date and to date based on the period for which you had exported the payment instructions file from tally prime If the file was generated only for a particular date as in this case then the entry date will be today which is set as default the date gets updated click submit and the intermediate file gets generated 
Now that we have the intermediate file, let's reconcile our payment vouchers in Tally Prime. Press Alt plus G. Type or select e-payments. And press Enter. The report opens for the starting date of the financial year to the date of the most recent voucher date. Press F2 to change the period if needed. Drill down from the transaction sent to bank and reconciled section under the Bandhan Bank column. Press Alt plus O. Select intermediate file and press enter. Select the file from its folder path and press enter. You can see the total updated transactions and reconciled transactions. Press Y. Now press Alt plus G. Type or select Bank Reconciliation and press Enter. Select the Bank Ledger and press Enter. If needed, press F2 and enter the from and to dates based on the voucher dates of the vouchers for which you have imported the intermediate file. Now, press Ctrl plus B and press Enter on Include Reconcile Transactions. You can see that vouchers get updated with bank date and instrument number. Now that you know how to create payment vouchers in Tally Prime, upload them to the bank portal, download the intermediate file, and then reconcile the vouchers in Tally Prime. Let's see how to handle exceptions in the e-payments report. Press Alt plus G. Type or select e-payments and press Enter. The report opens for the starting date of the financial year to the date of the most recent voucher date. Press F2 to change the period if needed. There can be two cases in which you will face exceptions in the e-payment reports. Let's drill down from the transactions with incomplete bank details section. When one or more details, such as bank account number of the beneficiary or the IFS code of the bank branch, are missing in the voucher, it is found in this section. You can see the error here. Press Enter and you can enter the required details, such as account number and IFS code. Press Enter and then you can choose to add the bank details only in the voucher or voucher and master both. Let's add the details also in the master for the future vouchers. As we save the details, the voucher moves to the ready for sending to bank section. Now, let's drill down from the transactions with mismatch in bank details with master section. These are vouchers in which you have made changes in the bank details of the party in the bank allocation screen. If you had deliberately made the changes, you can press enter and then accept as is. As you can see, the voucher is no more in the section as it has moved to the ready for sending to bank section. You might have accidentally made changes in the bank details of the party while creating the voucher. In such a case, you would want the bank details in the voucher and that entered in the party ledger to match. So, you can just press Alt plus S to copy master info. The voucher will move to the ready for sending to bank section. Once all the vouchers are in the ready for sending to bank section, you can go ahead and export the payment instruction file from Tally Prime. Thereafter, you can upload the payment instruction file on the bank portal, download the intermediate file and import it to reconcile the vouchers in Tally Prime. As you saw, by creating the bank and party ledger and recording payment voucher in Tally Prime, you can easily make e-payments from your Bandhan Bank account to your beneficiaries through Tally Prime. Moreover, you can also reconcile your payments in Tally Prime with the intermediate file downloaded from the bank portal. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.